Yo what's up I'm NK from the No Agony Collective and today I'm gonna show you how to make Travis Scott type melodies. So we have this sample right here. So as you can see we have three main elements of the sample, um, two bell melodies and one bass melody. But this is just this melody pitched up one octave as you can see right here. Let's look at the bell melody first. So this is the pattern I made, it's from Serum, it's the bell dream preset from the Supernova Volume 1 Serum Bank. And yeah, let's listen to the melody. So as you can hear it's like really simple, really repetitive, but this is what we're looking for because we want to flip the sample later. So all we gotta do is render it out, you can do it by clicking this arrow and then render out this audio clip. And then this is the audio clip I have in my playlist, but we want to mute the effects. As you can see I reversed it, so this is the pattern by itself. But then we want to click this reverse button. Let's look at the effects I put on it. So at first we have this repeater effect, which is vintage delay. I use the 40s tape preset and this is how it sounds like. Then we have the Valhalla Supermassive plugin, which is a delay and reverb plugin. Then we have the Murder Melodies plugin and I put on these effects. As you can hear right now it's really muddy, but this is okay because we put on some half time. And to get it a little bit cleaner in the mix, I added this EQ where I cut out some of the bass frequencies, cut out some of the middle frequencies and boosted some of the highs. And as you can see, this is the same melody. Just pitched up one octave with the same effects. Yes, and all we got left is the Reese preset. I got it also from Serum. This is from the Noise Pack, and it's the bass Reese, and it sounds like this. And I added an EQ and cut out some of the highs. This is pretty much the whole sample done. Let's listen to it. But now I want to show you how to make something else like this. So we put on a new pattern and we use the same bell reset and just make a simple melody. Yeah, perfect. It's like really simple, repetitive as our first pattern. And what we want to do is pitch it up one octave. So then we ran it out as an audio clip, cut remainder. Then we do the same as beforehand, reversing the sample. This is too high for me, so I pitch it down like 600 semitones. Let's route it to the same mixer track. Yeah, and then you have a similar melody. Now we come to the second part of the video. As you can see, I'm in a new project where I added some drums. And here I've got the sample. I ran it out and just imported it to the new project. So let's listen to the beat first. Look at the clap first, just just um, basic clap pattern. And as you can see, I EQ'd out some of the harsh frequencies of the clap, which I didn't like. Then we come to the hi hat, the hi hat at layered two height with each other.
yeah the silly grooves there in the IH and the Q where I cut out some of the highs and on the second height as well as you can see right here then we come to the percussions I, I added a rim and a triangle on the triangle I added nothing and on the rim the same I just turned on the volume then we have this open height I'll play it with the metronome Yeah, this open height complements the normal height pattern really good. And on the second part, I added this cow pedal, which complements really nice. Then we have the 808. I play it by itself first. And then with the kick together. So the thing is, the 808 and the kick, I side chained them together. So we have this kick right here, you just right click on this arrow normally, and then a side chain to this track, then you add a limiter, and the, you can copy this preset and side chain it. And then I added to the 808 and the Q, where I cut out some of the lows about 20 hertz. Some of the highs in here was one frequency I didn't like, so I cut it out as well. Then we have this little snare roll and this reverse 808. And then the crash. And for the background, we have this percussion loop. I added some vinyl with the 1960s preset and some EQ. This is pretty much the whole beat. Now we look at the master. Um, on my master, we have Motiti and the soft clipper. On the Motiti, I choose the on the quick set the hip hop preset, and then I turn this knob to advanced. Then we go down to the timing style, put it to smooth, play around with the mid and high knobs, and you can turn the amount between 15 and 20 percent. And also, what I did, I boosted the output gain, so I boosted into the soft clipper, but therefore I had to turn down the volume of most of these elements so yes this was the video i hope you liked it consider subscribing if you want more tutorials like this leave a like and a comment and we we'll see you guys soon